Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'd like to show you how to make a GAPS baby bottle. So the person who actually came up with this recipe originally is GAPS Diet Mom over on Instagram. I will leave a link to her Instagram account below. If you are in, interested in the GAPS diet, definitely go follow her. She has a beautiful account where she shares great ideas and information and beautiful pictures. She's a certified GAPS practitioner, so she's very knowledgeable, but she's the one who came up with this idea originally. It's a great way for babies and little ones, toddlers, to get meat stock. You can either do it in a bottle like this or some type of a sippy cup situation but it's a wonderful way for them to get meat stock, fats, raw egg yolks, and then some probiotic food all in one drink. My littlest guy has these all the time and he loves them. He drinks them right down. So let me show you how to make them. So I'm going to start by melting my fat. You can use whatever animal fat that you want for this. Tallow, ghee, lard, butter, any of those things. You can even use cod liver oil. I'm going to use tallow this time. If it's a liquid oil, then you can skip this step because you don't need to melt it. So like a softer one, like chicken, rendered chicken fat or cod liver oil, you don't have to melt it. But tallow is pretty hard, so I'm going to start by melting it. For a 8 to 9 ounce baby bottle size, this is a 9 ounce glass baby bottle with a silicone sleeve. I'll use a pretty small amount of fat. While the fat is melting, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my meat stock. So I usually use right at one cup because by the time you add the other things then it gets close enough to nine ounces. It's very thick <laughs> which is good. You want it nice and like jello. I have a video that shows how to make meat stock which I'll link below in case you want to know how to do that. So then I'm just waiting for my fat to melt here. While I'm waiting for the fat to melt, I'll just insert my little disclaimer that you should definitely do your own research and talk to your doctor, your medical professional, all of that about what to feed your babies and kids. This is just what we do and it's worked really well for us and it's based on the information in Dr. Natasha's GAPS book. Okay, so now the fat is completely melted. So the next step is to add the meat stock just to get that warmed up a bit and combined with that melted fat. Now I don't want to heat this up so that it's hot. I want it to just be gently warmed so that it's more liquid, not so like jello consistency. This is looking really good. I don't even need it to be completely non-jello, like there's still some some jello pieces in there, but it's completely combined. So as soon as it's like that, I'm gonna remove it from the heat. I'm going to pour about half of the mixture into the bottle right away. This is just to make this next mixing step a little bit easier and then I'm going to pour the rest into my pitcher. And during this time I'll just test it with my finger to check the temperature and make sure that it's just gently warm, not hot. And that is because the next two things that we add, we want the temperatures to be cool enough that all the enzymes and probiotic bacteria stay intact. So the next thing that I add is my egg yolk. So a little note on raw egg yolks. So when I use raw egg yolks for our family, again, this is another situation where you want to do your own research, make sure you are well informed and are comfortable with it. But in my research, I learned that eggs from very healthy chickens that are out on pasture under sunlight eating bugs and very healthy are not at risk for salmonella. So I only use eggs from a source that I trust when we're eating them raw. That would be our own chickens that we raise in our backyard on grass eating organic feed, you know, under sunshine, eating bugs, all that. I don't eat raw eggs from places that I'm not comfortable with. I'll cook those. But Dr. Natasha talks about raw egg yolks in her book, of course, so that's a great source of information. They are an um, amazing source of so many great nutrients. There's fat-soluble vitamins in there, zinc, one of the best food sources for those types of 
nutrients and plus many more. So I just separate that out so that I have only the yolk and add that. And then I just whisk that so that the yolk breaks apart and mixes into the meat stock. When Gap's Diet Mom on Instagram does this, she actually removes the membrane around the yolk and adds it that way. So that's another thing that you can do. It just kind of removes any of those little bits that might kind of clog up the bottle. But she also has another trick that I'm gonna show you in a second that also helps prevent it from being clogged. So after the egg yolk is mixed in, the next thing I add is a little bit of probiotic liquid. So this is probiotic cabbage tonic. It's like the same thing as sauerkraut juice liquid. So I'm gonna add just about a, a small spoonful of that. And of course, the amount of probiotic liquid is gonna be really individual depending on where your child is at on the GAPS diet, but that's a, a good general amount. That's what I usually do. So I just mix that in a bit. And then I just pour the rest into the bottle. It's just enough to fill up that nine ounce bottle. Okay, and then you just add the top. And then the other trick I was gonna talk about is with the bottle nipple. So as it kind of cools, it will start to thicken up a little bit and that's okay. But what you can do is you can cut the very top of the silicone nipple with a pair of scissors, just cut like a very small little X in it, and that'll help it flow easier as things start to thicken up when it cools down a bit. And once it's all combined like this, I actually oftentimes give them to my little guy right out of the refrigerator, so it's pretty thick, but when the nipple's trimmed like that, he can still drink it down and he likes it that way. So you can definitely very gently warm it up if you want to, but you don't have to, just depending on what your child likes. So there you have it. That's how you make a Gaps baby bottle. Thanks again to Gaps Diet Mom over on Instagram for the idea. And of course, Dr. Natasha for her wonderful book with all of its information. So I hope that you found that really helpful. I have lots of other Gaps Diet videos on my channel. I'll link some below so you can check them out. I'll also link my 30 day Gaps meal plan that I made down below so you can check that out if you're interested. I'll also have where to find this same baby bottle that I use as well as some of the ingredients that I use linked below in the description box. Also check out that description box for free ebooks and other goodies. Okay, if you did like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody who you think would find it useful. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.